Whew, so, you know, I got a lot to talk about in this video here, as you can see with the title, and I'm gonna try and not go on a rant, but whoo -hoo, it's really hard to not do this. As you can notice here, if you look behind my system here, I am still on Windows 8.1. Wanna wonder why I'm still on Windows 8.1? Because for whatever reason, Microsoft's update to Windows 10 doesn't quite work no matter what way you try to actually install it. I have done several different installations. I've done the upgrade, I've used a download toolkit, a media creation kit. You can see some of the videos. I've shown you how to do some of these things here in the Windows 10 series of videos on the channel. I've done all these different things and all I've either gotten is that something happened, something happened there, or good God, that's a lot of great information. Something happened, clearly something did. Or I get the safe OS apply image error when it finally tries to upgrade Windows because it gets stuck at like 1% and just sits there trying to copy files and yeah, that's informative as well too. It doesn't really give you much any, anything and I've tried every other fix possible out there. Really truthfully outside of doing like a clean install of Windows 8.1 and then trying to upgrade that. It just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here with that. Microsoft obviously needs to create some fixes for this. It's literally prevented you, me from getting Windows 10. I know there's a lot of people out there that have had that issue. Uh, we're gonna, we have some other laptops here. We'll still get an upgrade video out there to you, out there definitely, but I don't understand why Microsoft is. I got some notes here, I, just, I, I have to talk about this. I don't really don't understand why they went this route. So basically, if your upgrade doesn't work, with Windows 8.1. If you can't, whatever reason, do every other way, doing the money dance or doing the whip and nay nay to try and get the damn thing to work, if it doesn't work in any way, shape or form, basically that free upgrade that you get, you can't actually use. So if you wanna get Windows 10, you basically gonna have to go and buy it because you can't do a full clean install of Windows 10. You wanna know why you can't do that clean install? Because the only way you can do it is by activating your upgrades, which means you have to upgrade on the PC that you reserved the upgrade for to get Windows 10. From there, then you could do a clean OS install. But it doesn't make any sense because they don't give you a key. So without a key, you can't really do the install. So basically what they say is as long as you install it on the same hardware, you'll be able to just automatically activate, just activates up. That also presents another issue, considering that people do have different types of keys they may have bought with Windows 7 or Windows 8. You know, they might buy a system builder's license, which is a little bit different, which is usually cheaper version of uh, Windows. It's the same version, but it's usually cheaper, but it's a one-time install and it's tied to the, basically the motherboard that you install it on. And if that motherboard dies, the key essentially dies with it. That's why it's usually significantly cheaper. But a lot of people also get what you call the OEM versions, or basically versions that can be installed multiple times. You install the key on one system, and and then when you're ready to install another system, you call in to get basically get it deactivated. They give you a certain number of activations, but then basically you would have to call in, you go through sort of this little code, um, sort of this machine ID code thing that you usually go through, done a ton of times with Windows 7 and Windows 8, and you talk with Microsoft support, they do that, and then it activates on your new board. But you need a product key to be able to do that. So essentially, if you try to change, let's say you upgrade, you do the upgrade, and you want to change your system out, you want a new motherboard or anything like that, you basically have to buy Windows 10 again because you don't have a key to actually install it, which makes no sense they didn't give you a key to begin with. So without the key, you can't activate it and you can't go through the process of trying to switch your key over because they don't give you the key to get the machine ID to begin with. You kind of get what I'm going here with this. It makes absolutely no sense. Uh, it, it, it's, to me, they should have just allow the Windows 8 keys to work with Windows 10. I don't see any reason why they shouldn't have done that. Why can't you just activate it just simply by using the 8 key that's already legit, you're already giving away for free. You know, let those people just get their 8 key, activate it, and then let people do clean installs. That's like the holy grail of anybody that's an IT or any system builder enthusiast. When they want to change their operating systems, all of us want to do clean installs. And I don't understand for the life of me why Microsoft decided to go this route where you basically are prevented from doing a clean install. I'll give you the OS, but you're not, you're not gonna give you a key because you gotta do a clean you gotta do a clean install by upgrading first. And if you want to change your hardware, you're basically screwed because you don't have a key once again. 
I don't understand this, this policy and the way they're doing it right now is backwards and I just want to put it out there to let people know some of my frustrations. Like I said, in this Windows 10 series, I was going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly, all in between, so to, so to speak, with it here. And this is one of the ones that's just, I don't understand this. So share your thoughts below what maybe what your problems installing with Windows 10 has been. I'm probably running into similar things that I ran into. They really need to change the upgrade policy, especially with giving you a key. I, I really don't understand why they can't give you a key. You probably can get the key through like a third party key tool or whatnot, but that shouldn't be the way it should go. They should just give you a key or let you just use your A key to upgrade. Bada bing, bada boom, it's done. I really don't understand this for Microsoft. Uh, they need to get their act together with this. So. We'll continue to try to get Windows 10 installed onto here. We'll have a couple of the videos. We'll do uh, different hardware to try to do the upgrade for you there. Um, share your thoughts below. Let me know what you guys think. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.